It's funny, recession is kind of one of those words that you have to fit a gigantic, chaotic global economy into a word that I guess is defined very specifically. And, and I think of it, I think it's a bad word. I think what we're going into is a revision. Um, the whole world is revising their business plans, energy policy, supply chain, probably global politics, um, and more, even uh, the, the food situation. So there'll be tremendous revision. I don't think we're going into a recession, meaning we're going to negative growth, but I think we're going to have volatile change. But we are seeing some pretty intense market volatility. Look, when you have a major revision in almost every part of your business, you have to rethink your supply chain, your uh, cost of capital. Um, uh, there's all sorts of things you have to revise. And technology, remember, and technology is buying all of this. So everybody has the business they have, and most businesses have the business they want to be. And they're in transition or revision into that. And that leads to volatility, but I don't think it's going to lead to recession. What about your business, which is very tied to the capital markets, of deal making? How, how has all this volatility impacted you? So volatility in the short term always causes pause. But volatility also causes opportunity. And the thing that usually kills the M&A or the deal market is availability of capital. So in 08, 09, uh, and in prior deal markets that have stopped, you just couldn't get capital. Capital is fully available now. In fact, I, th I even believe the high yield index, which is kind of the transaction index of financing, has gone down less than the investment grade bond index. So although capital's being repriced higher, which will change valuation, it's totally available. And so I think we'll be in a moment here where people have to figure out the right price based on new capital, but it's available. And, and, and I've never seen CEOs, boards, business as aggressive as they, as they are, including uh, private equity. As aggressive they're, on deal making? Yeah, they're aggressively. Right now, in this environment? Well, they're aggressively thinking through their business structures. They're aggressively thinking through what they want to be in five years. You're right. On this, whatever it is, Wednesday yeah. <laughs> in May, you're, they're not, it's too volatile to move. But every single, you know, most people are rethinking their business model and are aggressive in planning for the future. Well, it is and it isn't. You know, we're, we're still talking about multi-billion dollar deals just this week. We've learned that there are talks between Broadcom and VMware, which you're not involved in. But you have been involved with Broadcom in the past. I, we're, we're still seeing deals get done, or at least in discussion. Yeah, well, capital's out there. And if you have a business strategy that you want to execute on for the next 10, 20, 30 years, um, and, and you have access to capital, you're going to go forward. Um, but and, how long do we have access to capital? Because interest rates are going up, and they're going up aggressively yes, versus but, where we but, were. But from zero. Sure. From zero. But it's been uh, a while since we've seen this kind of moves. A 2.75 10-year, 3% 10-year used to be considered uh, you know, something you would, you would hope for. We've only been in the interest rate environment we were in for about three years. And so, again. But is there a level that impacts financing? Yeah, yeah there'll be a, a, it's not really a level. There'll be a level that causes uh, capital to become unavailable. I don't think we're getting there. But yes, there's a level that you don't think cause... we're getting there in this cycle. No, I don't think we're getting there.